What is up, YouTube? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new to the channel, I am Joe Wilson, just your average dumb triathlete trying to make videos related to triathlon, whether it's swimming, biking, running, you can find all those cool things right here on this channel. And guys, I want to talk to you about my race report. I did Boulder last weekend. Obviously, in Boulder is in Colorado. I live in Atlanta, so I had to fly out there to Denver. My friends picked me up. I stayed with them. Got out there on Wednesday night. Thursday, I got up and swam um, in the reservoir, which is where we raced. There was a lot of goose poop. I was I got out there on Wednesday. Probably should have got out there a little bit earlier, but I got out on Wednesday to try to acclimate. I was a little worried about the swim. Why? Because I always freak out on the swim, and I suck at swimming. Um, so, swam Thursday morning. I was like, this water's cold, but not too bad. Um, I did feel a little bit freak out, but I was fine. 1,100 yards, I felt really good um, once I got going. Um, and I really didn't feel like the altitude really affected me. Um, then Thursday evening, we rode bikes, uh, me and Zach, my buddy that I raced against. And at first I was like, whoa, this is gonna be really, really hard. Like I felt some burning in the chest and, you know, I guess due to the altitude, because the boulder is about 5,400 feet. But once we got going, felt, you know, after about 10, 15 miles, I guess the um, endurance kicked in and I felt great. Um, then we ran off the bike. Uh, I guess they have mosquitoes out there too because we were getting tore up. Anyway, um, that was Thursday. Then Friday, we were going to do something similar. So we got out there and swam on Friday uh, in, the, in the reservoir again. I felt good, felt fine. I did a test run where I ran into the, into the water, jumped in, swam. It was like 800 yards. I'm like, I'm good. And then we were going to bike and it rained. So no, no biking. We checked in, turned our bikes in and spent the rest of the day chilling out. Saturday morning, we got up and my friend Shauna, which Zach's wife, she, I guess, got some weird word, Giardia. Never heard of it. I think they're just making it up. But I guess it affects the stomach, you know, maybe from the, there's some something from the goose poop. Uh, I guess she swallowed some goose poop or bacteria, I don't know. E. coli, something like that. Anyway, she wasn't able to race. So it was just me and Zach. So we got up early Saturday morning, did my normal routine. Me and Zach were just like, I mean, we were in tune. We didn't have to say one word. I got up before, he got up before, and we were standing at the door at 455, ready to go. We got down there and Boulder had us picking, picking us up from the uh, uh, parking spot, uh, parking spot away from the reservoir because they don't have enough parking spots. And so we rode shuttles in. That was super easy. Got there, you know, like I said earlier, the bike was already checked in. So we got there, plenty of space. He used 245, I'm 244. So we were able to help each other out, get everything uh, ready to go. And then um, did my usual three or four poops and peeing a lot, you know, cause of the race nerves. And so I'm like, oh yes, it's gonna be great. So then we got the wetsuits on with the lineup and okay, listen to me. Do not race like Joe. Joe always has to try something new on race day. So Friday, back it up a little bit. Friday, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't like the goggles I'm swimming with. I just don't feel comfortable with them. So I bought a new pair of goggles. Never do anything on race day, new on race day. So I was going back and forth. I was like, old goggles, new goggles, old goggles, new goggles. I went and stood in line with the old goggles. And then I'm like, oh, they just don't feel right. So I yelled at some guy. He gave me the new goggles from transition. So I had to go back, put the new goggles on, gave him the old goggles. I'm like, all right, let's go. We were lined up in the 33, the 35 minute uh, time slot. And I jump in. And I start swimming, and I'm like, yep, here it comes. This right eye started leaking. And I'm like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Um, but I'm like, just ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it. And finally, after about 600 yards, I couldn't ignore it anymore. And so I, like, stop, pulled it up, closed it, did it back down again, and start swimming. And the rest of the swim wasn't too bad. Um, it, it eventually just started leaking. I just ignored it. You know, my friend who's a much better swimmer than me, she says, when your goggles leak, you just keep going. And I'm like, ugh, I just can't. But anyway, swim was pretty good. I developed this thing where I'm pulling so hard to the left. 
You know, I noticed it really bad uh, last Monday when we did, when I did a practice swim up at Lake Ackworth. But so me swimming normally is like this and I slide every one, 10, 15 times, sometimes not even at all. But now I'm like this and I'm like, it's pulling hard to the left. And basically I swam the whole time by myself, way away from everybody and had to kind of, so that, that probably cost me, a, I don't know, a minute maybe. So I swam 34 minutes, 19 the age group, which is pretty good for me. I mean, that's better than I've been swimming. And I kind of think, you know, swimming's come along a little, bit, a little bit for me, but it still put me down, you know, 34 minutes, seven minutes down from the uh, leaders in the age group. Anyway, jump, come out, transition. I mean, guns blazing like I always do, sprint past everybody, jump on my bike. I'm putting on the uh, shoes and they're like taking a little bit longer. I'm a little bit slower in transition because I'm not using my old shoes, which may be going back to those. Um, that's a different subject. But anyway, so I go to put my shoes on. I'm running with my shoes on and I go to jump on my bike and I look down and the person who had put my old goggles back, thank you very much. Well, they had put them on my, I guess they somehow ended up on my pedals. And so I'm like, when I'm pedaling, or like, look down, they were like right around my pedal. And I'm like, oh, crap. So I stop and I'm like fidgeting with them, fidgeting with them. And finally get them off and I Come throw on, them Joe Wilson, make up for that there. crap. That Jesus. 30 seconds. I don't know. So then I get going and I'm riding and I'm riding. And I'm like, someone told me first 10 miles hammer because it's like, it's uphill. And so I'm like, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. And I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really, really good. Putting out 260 watts, 250, two, 260. I'm feeling, feeling really good. And then I think maybe on the first 15 miles, I averaged 21 miles an hour. And that's a big uphill. And then it just became a screamer on the back half, the, the back, the last 15 miles or 14 miles, something like that. And I just got up to about 24, 24 and a half miles an hour. And then I go on the second loop, I'm trying to put out more power. I feel pretty good, you know, on the bike. And same thing, coming around the second time. Legs start feeling a little bit heavy on that second lap. I mean, on the downhills and, you know, the flats on the second, on the back half of the second lap. But I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, same thing in Chattanooga. I'm, I'm okay to run with, with uh, heavy legs. You know, you do so many uh, races that eventually you just get used to it. Um, and so came off the bike and my bike was like right at 220. I thought I'd be able to a little bit under 220, um, but I went 220 and that was eighth in the age group. And normally I'm like top five, one, two or three in the age group, but that was eighth. So I'm like, okay, you know, get some work to do there. And I'm like, but come off the bike and I'm like, start running. And I saw my buddy, uh, that lives down the road from me, Mike Mugler, and he's like, I got a flat tire, and I'm like, oh, that sucks, dude. Anyway, he takes, we kind of take off at the same time, Bef but before I went and came out of transition, I, I go and use uh, the restroom, that probably cost me another 30 seconds. I got to learn how to pee on the bike again, um, but the whole time I'm running, I'm like, I haven't seen my buddy Zach since I saw him coming out of the swim. We were both standing there in the swim, and he took off before I did. He was maybe there 20 seconds before me. He took off before I did on the bike. I never saw him on the bike. I'm like, he must be way ahead of me. And so I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. And I'm, I'm running. The first eight miles I ran probably at 650 pace. And I'm like, oh, this is good. This is good. No issues with the uh, altitude. I'm like, yes, great. And then... Like mile nine, it starts getting a little harder. You know, you're running on gravel. You're, my legs are getting heavy and I hadn't seen anybody and no one's telling me what place I'm in. And so I'm like, you know, what do I, you know, just keep, just keep pushing, just keep pushing, whatever. And finally around mile 10, I mean, the leg, I mean, the, the pace just keeps going down, you know, getting worse and getting worse. And I'm running like a 730 pace that last two miles and this guy's running next to me and he looks, he looks fresh and I'm, he's trying to pass me. I'm trying to pass, trying to keep up with him. What well, it was good because he was pacing me the whole, the last two miles. I was just trying to keep up with him, but I tried to ask him, I'm like, first lap, second lap. And he wouldn't say anything to me. So I'm like, well, I'm not letting this guy beat me because maybe I'm in third place and I haven't seen my buddy Zach. Um, and so I come around and the last mile, I'm like, all right, pick it up. You can do anything for the last mile. 
And I come into the finish line, I see my buddy, Jeff, who lives, who lives in Boulder. And he's like, hey, you're in seventh place. And I'm like, seventh place. Damn, that sucks. No podium for me today. So I started jogging it in. I had some pro, like sprint, pro female sprint past me, which is, I don't know about that. But anyway, um, and I never called my buddy Zach. He finished a minute ahead of me. And he had a blazing fast 211 bike, and I was down nine minutes. And I almost called him, but just wasn't in the card. So, anyway, that's my race 431 overall. I was 220 on the bike, eighth place, and then I ran a 131. I should have been a 128. Um, so, we got some work to do. Endurance is just not where I want it to be right now. Speed is obviously there, but. I should have been closer to about a 138, I mean a 128. So if the wheels hadn't fallen off those last four miles, that's probably where I'd have been. But so yeah, Boulder was tough. There's some fast people out there. 431, five minutes faster than Chattanooga, and I didn't even get anywhere near the podium. I, I The best I got was seventh um, in the entire day. I mean, I, I never even like saw the podium. You know, top five guys are... 420, 421, 422, and 423. So I was still a solid seven minutes off. But, and then my buddy was, Zach was sixth, and then I was seventh. And, but yeah, I got a lot of things to clean up. I got to get better in transition. You know, probably the difference between me and Zach was transition because his transition times were a lot faster than mine. You know, I got to stop acting like an old man. I mean, dude, you, you got the speed. So anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about Boulder 70.3. I love the race. Highly recommend. It was only 1,500 people there, but super fun venue. Fast. Fast people. Um, we had perfect conditions. So, yeah. If you're out in Colorado, give it a shot. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for listening to me. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, do all the cool things they do on YouTube. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.